All right, and now let's go back and discuss use effect cleanup function and why it's useful. So yes, once we're done with conditional rendering, we'll actually go back to zero to use effect and take a look at the cleanup function. And you'll see in a second why. And let's start with the challenge. So I want you to create a state value and in JSX set up a button which toggles the state. And based on that condition, return a second component. Now, that's a totally simple return. You don't need to worry about returning 10,000 elements. Literally, it can be a heading two. Now, what's important in the second component, create a use effect and run it only on initial render. And remember, in order to do that, we needed to use a second argument in the use effect. And once you have the example in place, then we'll discuss why we have such interesting behavior. So again, we're looking for use effect star and then zero five cleanup function. That's what I have in the app JSX. And then as far as the file, first, let's just go with some kind of state value. So in my case, I'm going to call this toggle const and then toggle set toggle. And that is equal to use use state. And by default, let's set it equal to false. Then after that, let's set up that return. So right away, go with return. And I'm going to remove the heading two, and I'll go with div instead. And then in here, let's create that button. Then we're going to go with class name and then BTN. We also want to right away add on click. And let's pass in the arrow function. As far as the logic will go with set toggle, and we'll use that not operator. So we'll set it equal to the opposite value. And then in here, I want to set up some kind of text and I'm going to go toggle component. Let's save that. Yep, I have the button. Everything's awesome. So now let's set up another component and based on that state value, let's toggle it. So in here, I'm going to go with const and then random component. Again, the entire gotcha is the result you'll see in the console. So that's the most important one. First, for now, let's just go in a random component and let's go with heading one and we'll say hello there. Hello there. Now we already know that, of course, we can toggle it, correct? So if I go here and if I'll say toggle and based on that value, if it's true, then I want to return the random component. If not, then nothing is going to be displayed. So we're expecting this behavior, correct? All of that is good. So now we're putting two and two together where we can use conditional rendering, we can display the component, but also keep in mind that in any component, we can set up the use effect, correct? So let's try it out. We're going to go here with use effect. So we pass it here. And then remember, like I said, we have two arguments. We have the function, that's first. And then we have the dependency array. Now, as far as the function here, we're going to go with some kind of log. We'll say, Hmm, that's interesting. And you'll see in a second why. So, hmm, this is interesting. Okay, good. Let's save it. And now, million dollar question. Yes, we're going back to the quiz. How often do you think this is going to show up? So, remember, use effect. It has the dependency array. And technically, this is empty. So, two options. Either it's going to show up only once when the component renders, or there's actually a gotcha and we'll see it more often. So let's try it out. I'm going to go over here and check it out. Every time I click, I actually have this behavior. Now, before we continue, why is this happening? Well, remember, long, 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 long time ago, we discussed the render and re-render, correct? So let's go with, I don't know, initial render. Maybe this way I'll be able to find it. Yep, over here, remember? We discussed the initial render and re-renders. And I said that for time being, let's think of initial render when basically the application loads. So that's when we render, for example, this sucker over here, the cleanup function. However, when we start toggling the component, Essentially, we mount 
and unmount the component. And during the mount, we repeat initial render. So of course, the functionality inside of the use effect will run, even though the dependency array is empty. And notice, now I'm displaying the hello there. That's the initial render. And yes, if there's going to be some kind of logic inside of the random component, of course, it will re-render if you'll have the use state. But my main point in this video is to showcase that just because we're used to use effect just running once when the application loads, it's not going to be the case if you're displaying the component conditionally. Because in that case, that initial render is going to happen every time you basically mount and unmount, mount and unmount. And this is why the cleanup function, which we're going to discuss in the next video, is going to be useful. Just don't be surprised if you have some kind of component that is being mounted and unmounted. And even though you do have this dependency array as empty, the functionality inside of the use effect, which in this case is just a simple console log, keeps running every time we basically show the component. Again, it's not a good or a bad thing. In the following videos, we'll take a look at a few examples. And when it becomes a problem, just something very important to keep in mind that yes, you have this initial render when the application loads, but for components that are being displayed conditionally, actually it's going to happen when you also mount the component.